All right, today we're making a video on you need to do this before hooking up. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say don't take hookups too serious because boom, hookups could either be, oh, we're in a long lasting loving relationship or hmm, we're going to keep on entertaining the situation ship or boom, I'll never see you again. Don't take it too personal. This could go for man and woman. They could have a whole significant other that they're dealing with that's either on and off or shoot, they might even be in a relationship with them right now or shucks. They could be waiting for that person to come back. You never know and you just happen to be there in the moment and they're just looking for a good time at that time now another thing i want to say as you get older the less tolerable it is for you to be doing hookups and not knowing what you're doing if you're amongst the age of 16 17 18 you have wiggle room to not know what you're doing because shoot the other person that you might be engaging in these acts with might not even be knowing what they're doing themselves but if you're around the age of you know 24 25 26 27 and you don't know what you're doing i suggest you go on you know these adult websites and type up how to do this and then boom take notes of what you're watching in those videos and then implement it in the bedroom because literally the older you get the less tolerable it is for you to have a bad experience because this person's go literally looking into it so you know shoot i'm not really looking for nothing serious with this person i'm just looking for a fun time as the time being boom they get into it with you you didn't know what you were doing it's kind of like uh damn i just wasted my time my energy my efforts you're most likely you might even get blocked off of it they might talk bad on you and they're probably gonna ghost you all right, so let's get into the video. All right, you need to do this before you hook up. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you know that you're going out and there's a possibility that you want to bring someone home later on, your home should be clean. Now, when I say clean, it don't have to be spotless, but it should never be no like food, no food bags from the previous nights, no cups, nothing in your house. Your house should be clean of anything of that type of stuff where it has to do with food. Now, me personally, when it comes to shoes, could be down here and there. Your bed doesn't even have to be made up for me. As long as your room just look clean and presentable and it's not nothing filthy or you know dirty to the extent of i look at it and i'm like ew this is dirty and the room should smell fucking fresh i have cannot stress how many times that i went to a female's house it's only happened twice i went to a female's house twice and they'll have a litter box now i see that they have a cat and i see that there's a litter box but i do not want to be engaging in bedroom activities having to smell the litter box the whole time that we're engaging in that activity it's literally a turn off and you can't really think about nothing but the goddamn litter box smell and i don't want to smell that what you should do if you have a litter box is literally clean the litter box out spray some febreze and then have someone come over and another thing is this has happened to me personally you should not have bed bugs roaches rodents or anything of that type of nature in your house and trying to invite someone over you should get that sorted out before you go out there and invite other people over to come to your house for a bedroom activity because there's no reason why i should have went in this shorty's bed and got bit up by bed bugs and left and sat there and said what the fuck is on my arm why do i have these bites and looked it up on safari and be like oh these are bed bug bites and literally said ew this is disgusting i don't know if she knows she has bed bugs shoot she might know she might not know still that is utmost disgusting and she said something along the lines of next time we got to do such and such and in the back of my head i'm like there will be no next time because this is utmost disgusting and i will never come back in your house off the simple fact that i have bed bug bites on me. so if you have anything amongst bed bugs rodents roaches rats don't invite people over to your house anything that i want to say first impression is everything you don't want to come into a hookup smelling like fucking shit you don't want your breath smelling like shit because think about it like this bro there's been instances where you've been out there on the street or you met someone new and their breath stunk or they're musty or they smell like shit now after every time someone brings that person up then they be like oh you know joseph and in your head you're gonna be like oh yeah joseph the musty nigga oh joseph the nigga with the stink ass breath joseph you know oh yeah make sure if you're going into a hookup that you're clean and you took a shower you're fresh and you smell good because I'm trying to tell you this right now. If you don't smell good, it's going to be a turn off to the other person. And they're literally going to remember you by that. There will be no, oh, them hitting you up because that's your first impression. Your first impression is everything. And I want to go as far as to say this. I can't really sit here and, you know, have double standards because me personally, I don't like to shave because I don't like the prickly feeling of a fresh shave. But I do trim. And it's all a preference. People, you know, they don't really care about hair. Other people do care. It's up to you to take that risk. Me personally, sometimes I don't even trim it. And half the time, you know, I don't really have a complaint. But me personally, I don't really care about here it's up to you if you want to trim or whatever just make sure everything else is fresh clean ready to go and two another thing is if it's possible you don't have to do this but you can you can talk to the other person and get to know what they like and what they don't like and what you really want to do is make sure they're comfortable with you before getting into a hookup you don't want to just go into it rush into it because it's going to sit there it's going to be awkward it's not going to be the best not going to lie the first time is always the most awkward is and it's not really the best compared to if you do it over and over and over again because you tend to get more comfortable with that
that person. So what I would do going into a hookup is try and make them feel as comfortable as possible. You know, whether that be playing games or, you know, doing simple icebreakers before you get into the act because the more comfortable they are, the more they're going to be feeling it before y'all just hop into it. That's pretty much everything that I feel like you should do before a hookup. And with those, you're guaranteed for success for them to have a good experience with you. Then now they might not hit you up, but they might hit you up later months down the road if they want to experience that same experience again. You never know. A hookup, don't take them serious. Go with the flow and have a good night.